What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium where I react to video game music for the very first time, and today is Return of Code Vein. This game is composed by Goshina, and it's just part of the Namco family, yep, Bandai Namco. We're going to be hearing two songs from uh, the channel Goshina topic. We have Requiem, Tranquility, and Light and Amber Journey. These are both requested by Nevermore084 on Patreon. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not sure which one to start with, but I'm just gonna go with the shorter one first, which is Requiem, Tranquility, and Light. Let me just uh, make sure this is all good. In the meantime, um, I have checked out Code Vein here before but not not much and I'm not gonna lie I kind of don't remember what it sounds like or what it, what the vibe is but you know that's the that's kind of the fun of this channel it's me constantly forgetting stuff so it sounds kind of new every time <laughs> it's a double-edged sword all right this is Requiem Tranquility and Light You know, for the first time, I'm actually going to look at what footage looks like from this game. Slightly Castlevania sounding. Oh, it's a PS4 game. I thought it was way older than that. I'm looking at images of the game. Well, it's rated pretty hard. 2019? Wait, what? Anime name God Eater 3? Alright, I have the wiki open, let it read later. I just noticed the background is a face. I thought it was like a... It's a graphic, but it's a face looking right at us. I thought I'm quick. Um, I'm still going to hold off on what Wikipedia says until after the second song, but... The first thing I thought of when, as soon as I clicked... Or before I clicked play, I should say, was... Uh, I always go by the song title. I'm like, oh, maybe it's, you know, putting me in a certain setting already. Or sometimes it's very vague and I can just go somewhere. This is called Requiem, <clears throat> you know, which of course is relating to the dead. And then Tranquility and Light. Mm. I mean, I guess I could also, in some uh, synonym, kind of be synonym the right word here, in a similar like family, Tranquility and Light can be death as well. This thing sounded to me like, well, it was like right out of the gate. So it kind of gave me these sort of boss feels or intense section. But I think that was kind of a given. I don't, th I don't think 
I can I can't really see anything here. You know, it's just put me in such a tense moment right away. And immediately the organs are going off, reminding me of like bloody tears. And that's where Castlevania got in my head. But then it kind of kept going and then it started sounding less and less like Castlevania stuff. You know, as soon as I hear like pipe organs and just that kind of gothic sound, uh, my brain goes there immediately. But it's, it's then sounded to me more along the lines of like Final Fantasy 15, just that like re really big grandiose sound with um, that has become quite common i would say for the past man i don't even i don't even know I, I don't keep up with it but i feel like it's a common pretty common theme in video games now to have this kind of sound which is fine but it's it's in a lot of places um speaking of final fantasy 16 sounds like it too you know that's that whole big like i don't know it sounds like it's from a, a certain like time period uh it's intense as hell though I still don't know what kind of game it is. I'll find out in like a minute, but I still don't know what kind of game it is. But it, now it's, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Code vein, and that's one word. It's what's interesting about this though to me is like, I know Goshina from from the Tekken series. So whenever I hear Goshina, or I know it's going to be Goshina, uh, I I can hear. It's weird. It's so it's so bizarre, but I can hear like like traces of Tekken soundtracks in there some, somewhere. And it's like, I can't remove my, my brain from it, but it's just, it's not a bad thing at all, but I definitely hear his use of like choirs a lot. That, that's, that might be like his thing, you know? I'm not sure. I haven't heard a whole bunch. I'm, I'm sure I have heard a lot. He's one of those composers where I feel like I've heard a lot without knowing it's him. But when I do know it's him, um, he seems to be uh, involved in a lot of Bandai Namco stuff. Like, I think he's probably uh, working for them as opposed to being independent. I have no idea how composers work. <laughs> and that's that's obviously Tekken as well. So, yeah, it's it's got this sound. Speaking of Namco and uh, Goshina, I wonder if he's part of Soul Calibur. Because this sounds like Soul Calibur a lot, too, as well. So... I should look up Goshina in the meantime. It's obviously a stage name, right? Masaru Shina. He's only 50. Damn, dude looks like he's like 27. Yeah, this guy's been around forever. As far as I know. Let me just go through the... He's Combat 3, Mr. Driller. Oh, yeah, Mr. Driller. Mr. Driller, which I've heard here. Tekken DR, yep. Tekken 6, yep. Tales of Ace Combat, God Eater. Oh, yeah. When I was skimming through the, the... You know how when you Google something, there's like a... A game, where I should say, there's like some brief information before you click on the Wikipedia. That brief information says something about like, God Eater. And the only thing I know about that is that an, it's an anime. So are these, is this like a game connected to that? It seems like everything has been like Namco that he's done. Oh, and anime. Oh, he's been around. Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Fate Grand Order, God Eater. Okay. Well, either way, the song gave me a really intense boss fight feel, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's go on to the next one. It's a little longer. It's uh, twice as long, five minutes. Same composer. I'm going to see if I wreck... I, I wonder if... Now that I've been doing this for a while, I try to catch on to... As I was saying earlier, like composers, things here and there. Um, I don't mind not recognizing stuff because it shows their variety. But every now and then you'll have like some really tall tale signs that composers worked on it. Like, you know, you can just kind of tell sometimes. Let's go to Amber Journey. From the same game, Code Vein. Let's go. Kind of what like Dark Souls sounds like to me. I don't know what you call this genre. I really don't. But it's like a genre that I mostly find 
in video games. It's not in movies too much, but a little bit. And I don't know if there's actual musical acts that do this. It's still cool, though. Just an observation. We have no singer on the description. Harp. Longs to be reborn, but somewhere in the distance, I hear a voice calling to me that will not subside. Though I may be weary and battered, body and tatters, I will go on again and rebuild this frail world, even if the Code vein is two words, but it, like in the R, it's like smushed together. Oh, there's like the other sound we know. Oh, that's pretty. Sound like a wolf howl. Interesting. It's like two different energies. You, you typically don't hear these two types of styles together. So either one or the other, you know? Well, there was a choir sound. Okay, so Code Vein, according to the Wikipedia, is an action role-playing game from uh, Bandai Namco's Namco. Bandai Namco. Post-apocalyptic environment, play from a third-person perspective. Its gameplay was inspired by the Dark Souls series. 
uh, of games with animation inspired by God Eater 3. With animation inspired by God Eater 3? Hmm. I have to find out what God Eater 3's animation looks like. Both Bandai Namco properties with Code Vein sharing the staff of the latter. Okay. So. While I look up images of what it looks like in game. The song that we just heard kind of put me in this very specific mindset. Every time I hear a song like this, especially in a video game, my mind goes to one specific section and that is the credits. It could not it could very well not be. But based I can't talk to you, but based on the song I heard prior, I feel like that one, Requiem, Tranquility and Light, is more along the lines of what you typically hear in the game. This kind of dark power type of thing. And this is sort of its own ballpark. It's like a it's like a ballad, totally different direction, yet it still has the flavor from earlier, had the choir, and still had a little bit of that dark energy too, so in a way, if you were to remove the vocals and it was just an instrumental, the song would have that that still like gothic, grandiose type of sound. Whereas this one, it reminded me of, um, for example, there's a, I forget the name of it, but I, I reacted to it here. It was Metal Gear Solid Five, the one with uh, Donna Burke. Do I don't want to say the wrong name, but that one. Uh, that kind of thing, right? Like it's just, uh, and I don't even know where that song plays, but it just gives me that feel. But it also reminds me a little bit of a, a really big video on this channel, which I've never like brought up, I think, <laughs> since I did it, and it's a pretty big deal. But uh, answers from Final Fantasy XIV. It was like one of the earlier videos I did, and one of the like bigger viral videos that I have. And I'll never forget that video too, but. It also was the first time, I think, in my life that I heard something very similar to this. And I haven't really heard anything like that since. So it's been like two and a half years since Answers, or something like that, where you have this melodic, beautiful singing. And then in the background, every now and then, you have this pretty strong, pretty strong choir. Um, so yeah, it was it was bringing me back a lot to earlier reactions. You know, the, the Metal Gear Solid Five one, answers. Uh, I think there was another one too that I can't think of right now. Kind of reminded me of Snake Eater as well too, a little bit. Those two Metal Gear Solid games. Um. Oh yeah, I never saw footage of it. It's well, I'm seeing like. I don't know. Like I feel, I don't. I don't know if I'm qualified to say this but from the namco games that i've seen that are not fighting games they kind of all have a similar aesthetic and i don't know how to describe it like the tales of like this kind of cartoon like i don't know i really don't know how to explain it um it looks good though but it looks like it's like i would guess this is a namco game based on looks if that makes any sense whatsoever But I'm guessing that this is like a, I feel like this game and community are probably a, a kind of a gift to the fans type of thing. Um, I don't know anything about God Eater, I've never seen an anime in my life, besides the original Pokemon, <laughs> if you count that. Um, so I don't know if, I, I'm getting the vibes of like God Eater came first and then like the game, this is like the tie-in, or vice versa, I, I don't know, I have no idea. If anything, I need to, uh, per usual. This is what I do sometimes when I revisit a game, because I don't remember the last time I did Code Vein. It's been a while. I have to go back into my old comments or to my old videos and see the comments. And the same questions I'm asking now, I probably asked best back then. And yeah, I don't know. It's uh, It was cool though. There was uh, no complaints. I was just trying to, uh, it just felt very broad to me. Like what is happening here? What is, you know, Amber Journey? It's a color and, uh, you know, is that, a, is that just a metaphor? And the first one sounded like a big metaphor of death. It seems to be a lot of blood. Just blood here, just blood in the, uh, maybe it's like a bloody, more adult game. That's what I get. It definitely has that feel. 
So, anyways, now I'm curious about more Goshina stuff because, like I said, I, I'm aware of him, but now I want to like go back and for sure hear stuff he's done that I know. But I think the choir is like a, is a big thing of theirs. So yeah, feel free to tell me what where these songs go to. First one sounded like a boss theme. This one sounded like credits to me. That's pretty much all I really got. And uh, let me know if it if it fits into the like for the Souls fans. Does it does it uh, have a similar gameplay? Is it easier or harder? Whatever, etc. It's, it's rated pretty well. So thank you to Nevermore084. Thank you to everyone that you see on screen. I cannot be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. Take it easy.